An underdog is somebody who's like expected to lose. This song is really talking about how do we defy the odds. For me, you know, born and raised between Harlem and Hell's Kitchen, my mother raised me, single mother, um, in the craziest, craziest Hell's Kitchen streets ever, filled with prostitution and drugs and, and just, you know, it was just definitely not a place that you were intended to come out of. And then with my mother, she had to work all the time, always had to make my way around alone, go home alone. She had to teach me how to ride the train when I was 10. And so I think in a lot of ways, you know, neither she nor I was supposed to make it. So I definitely started with underdog roots. For so long, I didn't have any drums on Underdog because it didn't even want it. The guitar has that rhythm so much. So I think that's what made me start to approach the, the verses with these cadences that felt like you could, for, I think like it feels like it's walking. It feels like it's driving. It feels like you're living life. You're moving in the space. She was walking in the street, looked up and noticed he was nameless, he was homeless. Like living in New York, growing up in New York, you always walking, you always walking where you're going. That's how you get there. You always seeing people in the street. You're always seeing homeless people and they are nameless. And in fact, everybody that you cross in the street is nameless. You don't know them. That's the thing about a big city. It's like, you don't know people all the time. Most of the time you're just, you know, shadows and when there is a time when you've seen a person in this case it was a homeless person and you and you think about that person what how did they get there what's their story who are they and so that kind of set the scene for this New York energy she asked him his name and told him what hers was he gave her a story about life with a glint in his eye and a corner of a smile one conversation you know that happens when you happen to run into somebody that you didn't know, and next thing you know, you're like, man, I had this conversation today that blew my mind. And that only happens when you're open enough to actually share a moment with a person. And so that's what this particular line is describing. And then when it goes to a glint in his eye and a corner of a smile, you know, it, it brought him alive and it gave him a little joy. It gave him something to pick up on. And so we definitely wanted to express that feeling. A simple moment, the things that change us, if we notice when we look up sometimes. They said I would never make it, but I was built to break the mold. The only dream that I've been chasing is my own. Without question, I don't think there's a soul on the planet that hasn't been told in some way or another that they're not gonna make it or they can't do that. Why would you try to do that? You ain't gonna do that. Why would you try to do music? You know, only 1% of ever, ever, well, how long is it gonna take you to put that out? It took so, I mean, it doesn't seem like anything's popping for you. You know, women don't really get into that field. You probably shouldn't waste your time there. Whatever the case, our ancestors who had to deal with so much and be told no so many times. But did that stop us from evolving and getting to where we are? No. Anybody can relate to this idea of they said I would never make it, but I was built to break the mold. That's my favorite line. So I sing a song for the hustlers trading at the bus stop. For me, hustlers is not just one type of person. You know, I think that's really important. That's why I love the, the choice of words, trading at the bus stop is a really important choice of words because, you know, hustlers to me is somebody who is really trying to figure out how to make sure that their situation continues to evolve. And they're gonna work really hard at it. They're gonna be very crafty and creative about how to do that. So there's endless versions of what a hustler is. You know, I'm a hustler. So that to me is really powerful and that really resonated with me because it also, it gives an array of pictures of a person who's tenacious and who's really gonna figure it out and make it happen. Single mothers waiting on a check to come. Now I have kids my own and I ask my mother all the time, how did you do that? How did you do that? Really? And so I respect her more than ever now. Young teachers, student doctors, sons on the front line knowing they don't get to run. Teachers, I mean, they're the most valuable people in our society and they constantly don't have enough student doctors who have to put in so many hours, so much time, 
you know, don't receive what, what it's, they're chasing their dream. The line that kills me is sons on the front line knowing they don't get to run. That one, right now, I got like the tears well up in my eyes and the, and the chills go on my body just because like, whoa, like that alone is everybody. There's such a vivid thing about when you are on the front line, you don't have the option. This goes out to the underdog. Keep on keeping at what you love and you'll find that someday soon enough you will rise up, rise up, yeah. To me, this song is also about the unsung heroes. You know, the ones that probably will never get rooted on, the ones that will probably never know their name, you know? But definitely, my mother is an underdog and she's a great inspiration. She's a big inspiration for this song. She's riding in a taxi back to the kitchen, talking to the driver about his wife and his children. She's riding in a taxi back to the kitchen was for me 1,000% Hell's Kitchen. It was a million percent and old to where I grew up and the city that raised me. And that kitchen, you know, what makes it so intense is that you know, there's just all types of people there and you're in always in the cab kind of trying to get where you're going. It's crowded and, you know, maybe you have a few minutes to talk to the driver. Maybe you don't, you know, in this case, you do. On a run from a country where they put you in prison for being a woman and speaking your mind. And she looked in his eyes in the mirror and he smiled. One conversation, a single moment, the things that change us, if we notice when we look up, Sometimes. Who would think that you would talk to this man and get his take on why they're in this country? Why are they here? Why is he driving? What is he hoping for? What dreams is he chasing? And thinking so much about immigration, thinking so much about the border situations and the, and the issues happening there, and how many stories I've read about what drives people and what drives women to make that crazy trek to try to find a safe haven, unfortunately only to sometimes you know, be separated from the people they love. Everybody rise up. You gonna rise it. Hey, I sing a song for the hustlers. I mean, I hope that people rise up first for themselves. Like, I hope that people have the confidence to know that they're worth rising up for. I hope that people will also rise up for each other. We got enough situations happening on the planet that need a lot of rising up for, for each other, as opposed to, oh, well, that's happening over there. Too bad for them. Like, how does that actually affect all of us? Because one day, it could very well be happening to us. There's just always assumptions about what you are capable of or not capable. Most of the time, you're gonna have to prove yourself. As an artist, as a producer, as a musician. To this day, people swear that the guy in the room produced the record. To this day, I'm like, I produced the record, you stupid fuck.